idea of having an own initiative report uh, stems from the fact that uh, the social economy sector is extremely significant uh, in U European economy. Deals with production of goods and services and obviously it's important for uh, jobs and job creation. Uh, often, in fact, people uh, can't find jobs without using the social economy channels. So. And uh, hence, it is very significant there. But that being said, Unfortunately, the image of social economy is not very well known. We're not very visible. And we don't get the support we believe we deserve from the political people concerned. It is an opportune time to speak about the economy uh, from the, the global perspective, but I think it's also a very opportune time to speak about it from the perspective of, of people, of citizens, because in most countries, certainly my own, and I'm sure yours is, is similar, to some extent, people are looking to politicians for answers. We now find ourselves in a situation that most people never believed we, we would, would come to, and they are looking to some extent for answers. And uh, again, one of the issues we discussed in our Regional Development Committee today was about the red tape that organizations, voluntary organizations, NGOs, etc., encounter when they are trying to access structural funds, social funds, cohesion funds. And it's at the level that, that many social economy enterprises would perhaps just prefer to leave it and not to apply for the funding. At the time of the economic crisis which we face now, I think it's very timely to talk about social economy. And indeed, it's a very timely now to look into the different variety of enterprises which are possible and also to promote the different types of um, entrepreneurship which is uh, possible in order to create jobs and also to create um, uh, possibilities for people to be employed. So not only the uh, entrepreneurs themselves, but also to create jobs for, for others. So from that point of view, I think it's, it's very interesting to discuss the um, social economy uh, as well. But of course, we shouldn't forget the other part of the debate is m about more social dimension of, um, of the social economy sector. And indeed, the Commission recognizes that um, social economy has its very unique way of doing business by combining the economic performance and the solidarity uh, between members. I think uh, social economy enterprises are characterized by a number of objectives and working methods which are different uh, from other sectors and uh, which enable us to see business from a different point of view because, in fact, we can associate general interest uh, uh, and the democratic process, uh, the things which characterize our organization and bodies. Now, it's already been said that there is a great deal of diversity between the actors in the social economy sector. There's uh, health, the social services, banks, insurance, agriculture, education, culture, sports, and so on and so forth. So, a broad band of people. Apart from uh, proposals, which we see in the report and indeed welcome, uh, I think we have to ask ourselves why. Why is uh, social economy, which is not new, why is it so invisible? It's not new because it's existed for over a hundred years uh, in different ways uh, uh, and uh, means. Why then can we not obtain the visibility and the recognition which I believe we deserve? Uh, that being said, I'd just like to take up a number of points which to my mind are significant uh, and which explain perhaps these different... What do we want? We want to be recognized through European legal instruments. These European legal instruments should not replace national laws. They should provide for an optional legal tool and complementary to national laws. 
It should be mainly governed by European law. Explicitly, we do not want the lowest common denominator of national laws which exist for all different types of organizations that are sitting here uh, today. But we want a truly European legal tool which would improve the situation for our organizations operating across borders. These spor sporadic studies are all very well in themselves, but uh, for a sector which is important as social economy, requires harmonized uh, uh, follow-up uh, figures at European level. So that the information in those sporadic studies can be gathered together and uh, of course, that kind of work can only be done by different uh, national statistical offices uh, with, together with Eurostat. Are you, there are many, many places in France, for example, where you see Credit Mutuel and Credit uh, Cooperative and Mutuel. Uh, I, I, I think we are visible, but people don't want to see us, and that's another kettle of fish. The second thing is what uh, uh, Mrs. Ruter said. Uh, she said, in fact, that we can't do very much because um, the concept of social economy exists only in five EU countries. But that's fault. That's not true. The Economic and Social, the social Committee has shown this. In fact, the uh, members of that committee are made up of uh, members of the social economy. Social economy is made up of services and also uh, helps uh, women to find jobs and provides jobs for women. But I also pointed out something which comes from my own experience. Uh, that is that there is vertical segregation. That difference uh, will increase. <clears throat> it's important to have an alternative. This question of to consider the human factor as one of the factors of the enterprise contributing to the profit is not the way of doing of that uh, social organization too. That for us is important. Also, the eco social economy is linked with the sustainability of an economic model. This financial crisis, I, I, I think that I said, and you were, we are not so bad like now. Um, today, the only good thing, uh, to the good things, this conference, the debate, linked and the the inauguration of Obama. It is important to start by having a common language in the social economy sector. Also, I think one should highlight the original nature of this kind of activity. The uh, uh, characteristics of the enterprises uh, 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 are are in fact obviously related to social benefits. And then thirdly, the question of jobs. First, the main issue, in, in my opinion, is the question of political, legal and institutional recognition of social economy at the European level. First step towards that recognition should be in the adoption of the statutes for a European mutuality, an European foundation and an European association. Second step, there should be an unitarian and transversal approach by the Commission to the social economy sector. The diversity of the size, activities and legal forms of the sector demands such an approach. 